Hey guys, it's Kirsten with Sleeping on the Job podcast, and uh, you can join my Facebook group, Mini Session Inspiration and Photoshop Education. So I'm going to do uh, a couple different sun overlays. Uh, someone asked this question last night and was a little bit stumped on blending modes versus what kind of uh, sun overlay you're using. So I was like, oh, you know, I think I'll make a make a little tutorial on that. So this is my daughter and her boyfriend. Um, his uh, what would have been his junior prom that never happened, but she borrowed a dress and uh, just wanted to have photos taken, um, so we did. So this is the just straight out of camera um, image, and I used my off camera flash, of course. Um, so we're gonna just go to town. So file, place embedded, go to where your overlays live, I have mine on my external hard drive in a folder called overlays in a subfolder called lights. Um, this says Florabella light overlays. Some of them are from her. Some of them are not from her. So the first one that we're going to use, let's do a real nice orange one. This is a JPEG that has a black background. So anything that has a black background, we're going to use the screen blending mode, which I love. Okay, so we're gonna put that up in the corner. Maybe not with the hotspot so much. Okay, we're gonna go to the drop down menu here for the blend modes. We're gonna click on screen, grab the move tool. You can kind of move that around. Um, if you hold the shift key down, you can kind of make it longer. Um, I usually don't like the center center unless I'm really trying to like mimic the sun, but I do love the glow. Just adds that little pop of light that I love. So that's the screen blending mode. All right, let's turn that off. The next kind of overlay that you will find are PNGs. A PNG has a transparent background, so you don't need to worry about the blending mode because there's no background to blend. Just like that. PNG, drag and drop, you're good to go. Okay, let's turn that off. The next kind you will come across so with Florabella, one thing that's nice, let me find one of hers. Okay, so these ones, she tells you right in the description um, to put it on hard light blending mode. So let's try, this one looks really pretty. So we're gonna go to hard light. Ooh. Let me size it like that. Okay. Now with any of the overlays, okay, I don't like that one. I think it's between Okay, I think I like this one the best. So let's just say hypothetically, well, you can't really tell, but with any sun, you can always put a layer mask, the little rectangle, the dot, you can always put a layer mask down here and get a, so a white layer mask, you're gonna get a black brush. So hit D and then X. D makes it go black and white, just in case you're like playing around with colors. And then X makes the black on the foreground. And you can always, if you have to, if you didn't, for, if for some reason you didn't want it on them, if they were already lit perfectly, you would just go like that. If you want it to show like the tree is more in the foreground, the light's kind of behind it. Um, I like it like that. Um, so there you go. You can also play around with the blending modes um, with everything. Um, sometimes it just gives a different look you didn't even know you liked. 
Um, so there you have it. Add sun to everything. Oh, there's one more thing I was going to tell you. So don't mind the 7 billion tabs I have open, but I just did a search, for example, what did I do a search of? How do I get to the top here? Um, sun flare overlay free, for example, and like this one popped up. So I'm just going to right click and save image as, um, <laughs> come on, all those. okay, so that saved that. So now we can go back into Photoshop. Let's shut this off. File, place embedded, go to your downloads. Change the blending mode to screen. Okay, so with this one, I actually like it a lot. Um, you can see the edge right here. Whoops. Ah. You can see the edge down here on her dress. So we're going to definitely want to put a layer mask on that. And have it be a soft brush all the way less hard, zero hard. And paint the edges away. I'm actually going to get rid of what landed on his jacket a little bit. So pretty much any image on Google Images that has a black background, um, you can literally use with the screen blending mode. I mean, you know, I don't want to go to prison or anything, but um, like pretty much anything. Let's go, like literally, what would we want to do? Um, like if we wanted to do I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you, you get what I'm saying. And then you can always put the layer mask on. Take out the weird ones. It's a little bit weird. Let's try one more. Um, I'm not even checking the resolution. I'm just like clicking away here. It's not even the right, <laughs> it's not even the right kind of leave, leave. Again, layer mask, brush. I'm going to make the brush hard because then you can erase easier. Um, all right, but there you have it. The screen blending mode is life.